Now this demonstration requires wetting the paper right below the foam and a mixture of cobalt blue and burnt sienna to get this gray. I want a little more blue next to the to the wettest part of the sand. Seems that's gonna reflect more sky because water's a little deeper just along there. And each brush load gets a bit drier. That's a one inch flat synthetic. All my brushes are pretty much synthetic now. They have a lot, a lot better spring than the old sables that I used to use and I sure like their uh, the way they snap back and they hold plenty. Each brush load here is getting drier, more paint, less water. This is 200 pound T.H. Saunders and I didn't tape it. It's just curling a little bit. You can see kind of a bit of a spring to it. I cleaned the brush out now and I'm just mopping up a bit of um, just dragging it around. I don't want the sand to look too stair like pavement. I want to have a little bit of a swing to it. You know, just a touch of a I don't know, rhythm or pattern. I want it darker at the bottom because the sky over, well, first of all, the sand dries out too as we get closer. There's not as much water on it, but the sky overhead is, is going to be dark. Darker than what we see at the horizon, anyway. And I'm going to just lift a little bit of vertical pattern out where the foam is reflecting in the wet sand. Add a little bit of dark where the uh, might just be picking up a bit of reflection of the island in the distance there. See if that, yeah, try and get it straight. Just a suggestion, verticals. The vertical patterns and the horizontal patterns give it that shine. I could have reflected a bit of that orange sky in there. I well, have to do that next time. I'm more interested in getting a getting a nice um, pattern than perfect match the color. <laughs> 